Hello everybody. Good evening. It's evening here. Good morning. Good afternoon wherever you may be on planet Earth. I'm all dressed up because Graham's cooking dinner. A stew. So I'm showing Willing and uh, well he's going to video my reaction to his dinner um, on his channel in a little bit. But before that, I'm sorry to drop yet another Megan video on you today. <laughs> but uh, another article popped up, uh, suggested for me on Google, from Newsweek, written by someone called Jack Royston. Now, some of you might be familiar with the name of that journalist. He has written hit pieces in the past on Yankee Wally and other Mexiteers, I believe, calling our side of the camp trolls, okay? He has, uh, I'll put a link to his article in the description, Jack Royston, uh, Newsweek, and you can judge for yourselves what you think. Uh, the headline is something like, Meghan Markle is still a princess. And then it goes on to explain technically she has a princess title. Yes, she does. She's also a countess and a duchess. So when people say remove the titles, are they just referring to the ducal title, the Duchess of Sussex, or the Countess of Dumbarton, or Princess Henry of Wales, which could potentially be shortened to, oh, I don't know, Princess of Wales even though we already have a Princess of Wales, Catherine, who is Prince William, Princess William, because that's how it works. They have the princess title, but because they're not a natural born princess themselves, they take the uh, first name of the prince that they have married. So Meghan is Princess Henry, Catherine is Princess, uh, princess William, Although being the actual real Princess of Wales, uh, there's every chance that the media will shorten it to either Princess Catherine or Princess Kate, as in the late Princess Diana. Princess Diana was actually technically Princess Charles, or whatever Charles's first name is, because he's got quite a few, quite a few uh, first names, hasn't he? First name, middle name, second name, Charles, Arthur, David, Louis, or is it the other way around? Um, so I think you can see where this is going. Now, if you go and read this article, Mr. Royston seems to be eluding to people requesting that the titles are removed. And so the headline, she is a princess. She'll always be a princess. Now, I personally believe that when she and Harry were getting married and she would have discovered that the Queen intended to bestow the dukedom on Harry, the dukedom of Sussex, my county, I feel personally, it's my opinion, that Meghan would have said, what the hell is a duchess? I'm marrying a prince, therefore I should be a princess. And I don't think she's ever really liked being a duchess. I'd be interested to know what you guys think, and I have pointed it out in the past, that if the ducal title were to be removed, I think she'd be delighted. I think she'd call herself Princess of Wales or just Princess Meghan for sure. You know, just just little old Princess Meghan. So for those who really want the ducal titles removed, do you mean just the ducal titles or do you mean the princely title as well? And the Countess, is it all of the title? Personally, I think Countess sounds a lot nicer than Duchess. Um, I'm sure all of those titles are marketable in America, one way or another, if there's anything marketable left with Meghan, if she hasn't made herself totally unmarketable and un an unappealing um, prospect for Hollywood. I don't know. What do you guys think? But go and have a read of Jack Royston's uh, article. And if you're in any doubt that he's done hit pieces on Yankee Wally, go to Google and type in Jack Royston Yankee Wally. 
and you'll see the article, this troll, Yankee Wally, earns such and such. Mm. Yeah, and I read some article or blog that Christopher Boozy had done quite a long time ago, where I think he made reference to, well, definitely to Ellie Hall of BuzzFeed, but I think he had also alluded to Jack Royston of Newsweek. So have a look at that one as well. That's interesting. Um, in a, a slight update, well, actually, it's quite a major breakthrough. The Information Commissioner's Office has assigned a caseworker. I thought it would take months. Um, the caseworker was assigned last week. Um, and so that's in progress at the moment. There's a name and there is a case number for the Information Commissioner's Office. Now, it may be that they're just really efficient or it may be that the caseworker has been assigned very quickly to look into data, any data protection breaches in Yankee Wally's case because they've looked at the links that I've sent them and they can clearly see that members of the press have commented and it would appear have been made privy to the status of that channel which I believe is a little bit of a data breach, but I will keep you posted on that um, as things develop and unfold. In the meantime, are you all ready for Princess Meghan? Because I can see this one coming a mile off. You know what to do.